At the end of May, my mom visits me in the Netherlands. Every time she visits me, we go on girls' trips. This time, we chose to go to Geneva, a beautiful city located on the shore of Lac Le Mans and surrounded by the Alps. We arrived at Geneva Airport in the evening and took a train to Geneva Central Station, which only took 10 minutes. We stayed at Vision Apartments, which locates right across the train station. Our plane got late, so we were tired. We hit the bed immediately to be more energetic to enjoy the city in the morning. In the morning, we found this cute bakery to have breakfast. I didn't expect to have such variety and fell in love with the whole wheat croissant. Who wouldn't? Now that we have the energy, let's explore the city. We headed to Park Bastions. At the park entrance, you can find many chess boards to play with. I love to see how many people were already playing in the morning. Through nature, we walked towards the Reformation Wall. It was built in the early 20th century in honor of the Protestant Reformation in the 16th century. It's 100 meters long and you can see key figures of revolution across all of Europe. Next, we went to Old City and first visited Calvin High School. Built in the 16th century, it's the oldest public secondary school in Geneva. It was found by John Calvin, who was also the face of Reformation in Geneva, and his statue was on the Reformation wall as well. After the school visit, we found this passage that leads up to St. Peter's Cathedral. Before entering the cathedral, we refilled our water bottle. You can find drinking water fountains all over the city. The cathedral was rebuilt in 12th century in Gothic style. There is no entrance fee for the cathedral, but if you want to climb the north or south towers to see a 360 view of the city, it will cost around 5 euros per person. Although we missed the towers, we enjoyed the view from the backyard of the cathedral. Our next stop is the Museum of Art and History. Although Geneva is one of the top 5 expensive cities in the world, museums are free here. The building was built in the early 20th century and you can find various arts, from paintings to archaeological findings, from the Byzantine era to the 20th century. The highlights for me were the sculpture of Venus and Adonis, unfortunately lovers from Greek mythology, several Swiss nature paintings by Ferdinand Hodler, and the latest sculpture who was watching the somewhat darker nature painting. The museum also has a garden with a restaurant in which you can sit and enjoy the energy of art. But we headed towards the lake and had lunch at a live, a vegetarian cafe. The food was delicious and we were hungry, so I only took a video after eating. Priorities, right? Next, we took a walk in the English garden and found the iconic flower plot. On the way to our hotel, we came across the Brunswick Monument. It's a 19th century mausoleum for Charles II, Duke of Brunswick. He left all his fortune to the city of Geneva and returned for the agreement to build the monument for his name. After resting in our hotel for a while, we headed back to port for dinner on the boat tour. There are several boat tours available. I recommend booking it in advance. Here we have a closer view of the water fountain. It can reach up to 140 meters. First, it was built as a safety valve for the hydraulic power network, but once people found it aesthetic, it was moved closer to the city. The tour had several stops on the Swiss and French sides of the lake. Therefore, we could enjoy our dinner with a view of the different villages and the mountains. After the tour, we also enjoyed the water fountain and the city lights at night. We started the second day again with a filling breakfast. It was like eating a rainbow.
After breakfast, they took a bus to the botanical garden. When you check into a hotel in Geneva, you receive free transport cards for your whole stay up to 15 days. It also covers the train trip back to the airport. At the garden entrance, you can encounter a large plane tree. And of course, I hugged it and immediately loved that we chose to spend the day in the garden rather than visiting another city. There are several greenhouses in the garden, and I lack words to describe how beautiful they are. Every greenhouse feels like stepping on a new island. Here, I was just filming, not seeing the obvious, and then my mom pointed out. And you can feel me having a mini heart attack. Yes, it wasn't real, but it took me at least a second to realize that. After visiting greenhouses, you can rest in the Zen garden. We had lunch at the restaurant in the botanical garden. I didn't film it because, well, you can already guess, I was hungry and forgot. And honestly, I wouldn't say I liked it that much. Geneva is the headquarter for Red Cross and the United Nations. You can visit the Red Cross Museum here as well. We skipped it and went to the Museum Ariana. It was built in the late 19th century by Gustave Revolliot and named after his mother. Here you can see some, and by some I mean 28,000 pieces of ceramics from Gustave's personal collection. Many other pieces of his collection can be found at different museums in Geneva. I can't decide whether I'm amazed by the collection or the building itself. There are some monuments you can visit close by to the museum. One of them is the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Another is 12 meters high, broken chair sculpture that is built to protest cluster bombs and landmines. It's located right in front of the UN building. After the long day in nature, we went swimming in Lake Geneva on Peke Beach. I hope I pronounced it right. Entrance costs around 2 euros per person. Actually, they use Swiss franc, which is equal to 0.97 euros. So if you don't have franc, they will value one franc as one euro to get rid of the small change. The lake was so clean and surrounded by the mountains, it immediately reminded me of memories. There are also separated areas of the lake, which is not deep and suitable for kids. While enjoying the afternoon sun, I also had some guests. Before heading back to the hotel, we stopped by the Basilica Notre Dame. The church was built in the 19th century. It's a stop for pilgrims on the way to Santiago de Compostela. Although it's not a must-see tourist location, it locates right next to the train station. So if you have time, visit, but respect the mass schedule. We ended the second day at Victoria Hall. It was built in the 19th century and dedicated to Queen Victoria. In 1984, it was partly destroyed by a fire and rebuilt. I'm happy that I bought tickets for the concert held in honor of the 200th year of Caesar Frank. The hall was beautiful and I love that the concert also included organs play. If there's a concert during your stay, don't miss it. to a classical music concert, I really got rested during this short trip. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. The next day we went to French City Lyon. Subscribe to my channel to not miss the Lyon trip and tips once it's online.